My name is Indra Dumna Swami. I'm a monk in the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, commonly known as the Hare Krishna Movement. I'm visiting our Hare Krishna Mandir here in uh, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia for the first time. And before I begin, I would like to say I'm deeply impressed by the hospitality of the Mongolian people. Everywhere I go, I'm well treated and we respect it nicely. And uh, also very important, I find that uh, Mongolian people are deeply interested in spiritual life. Even as I walk down the street in my, in my robes, people sometimes stop me. And even just in public, they ask me uh, questions of a spiritual nature. And I attribute this to the fact that um, people are still following their Buddhist faith here in Mongolia after so many thousands of years. We are conditioned souls. We are trapped in this material world. Although there's a lot of talk of freedom uh, in, in, in modern times, becoming, becoming free, even if we live in a beautiful democratic society like Mongolia, we're still like prisoners in this world. There's four realities, there's four truths the Lord Buddha spoke about which um, limit our freedom in this world. Birth, disease, old age, and death. <laughs> there's no one who can escape these um, very unpalatable realities of life. Birth is not a pleasant experience, either for the baby or for the mother. Disease is a very painful condition. Old age is so many inconveniences, so many difficulties. Death is, well, it's death that means everything is finished, at least materially. So we, we are conditioned. We, we cannot overcome these barriers of material life, again, even with science and technology. So my spiritual master said one time, the material world is no place for a lady or gentleman. The only alternative is actually to transcend this world by dint of our spiritual lives, our spiritual traditions, and go back to the original world, the real world, the, the spiritual world, the kingdom of God. Krishna says in his Bhagavad Gita, Abrahma Bhuvana Loka Punar Arvita Arjuna Mamopeta Tekontiya Punar Janmana Vivite That from the highest planet in the material world, which is called Brahma Loka, down to the lowest, which is called Patal Loka, Krishna says, it's a miserable place. The real advantage of human life is our ability to discover our deeper spiritual self within. That's what human life is meant for. Everything's important because real happiness comes from within. Happiness isn't determined by how much money you have and how many friends you have and how famous you are. Look, we all know those things don't bring real, genuine, lasting happiness. So different spiritual traditions have a different way of saying it. But any transcendentalist understands the futility of material life ultimately and the need, the hankering to discover myself within. When we start that, that's human. So if you started your genuine spiritual search one year ago, your body may be 45, but you can tell someone, I'm only one year old. This spiritual search is something that is integral to our, to our, our being. It must begin at some point. Well, the Lord is more prepared than we are for this spiritual search. He appears in this world from time to time and he speaks the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita as a kind of guidebook to help us go from, from the beginning to the end or from A to Z. And in his absence, we have his representative to continue guiding us. That representative is commonly known as the guru of the spiritual master. The Supreme Lord sees each and every one of us as his dear, son or daughter. You may forget him, but he's a Vigyana Surat, all-knowing all and present everywhere. He never forgets us. God is present in the spiritual world, in his original form. It's all pervading by his energies, and he's situated locally within the heart of every living entity. These are the three aspects of the Absolute Truth. He's in the spiritual world, he's all-pervading by energy, and he's personally in the heart of every living so he knows our pleasures and he knows our pains. And like any father, it's painful for him to see his children suffer. I really like it here in Mongolia. And I'm looking forward to meeting as many people as possible who are interested in this tradition I'm following and sharing this knowledge with you. Hare 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 Rama Hare
Thank you very much. Thank you.